Hi guys, welcome to my 10 week pregnancy vlog. As you can see by the puffy face, I just woke up. Um, so I'm 10 weeks, um, 10 weeks, six days. And I feel great. I feel like all my symptoms have started to subside. Um, and I'm really feeling pregnant now. Um, not in a bad way, in a really good way. I feel like I've settled into my pregnancy and I don't have any more morning sickness. I think I'm enjoying my food a little more. I still don't have that same passion for food that I used to have pre-pregnancy. Um, you know, it's like, take it or leave it. But um, I just feel better. I have more energy. I feel like a normal human being now. Um, plus my bump has grown so much and I really look like I'm like a five month pregnant person. Um, so I've really been enjoying it. I'll show you what I also have. I have this that I've been doing a couple of times a day. I'm all done. That's my son. Um, so it's basically like this, oh, it's like coconut oil on there. Um, it's a little heart rate monitor and I found the baby for the first time at eight weeks, um, like eight and a half weeks actually. And it was really, really low right by my um, pubic bone and I couldn't believe it. The heart rate was like 176. I'm just going to shut this door for a second. Oh, sorry if I showed you my bum. Um, yeah, the heart rate was like 176 and I was like, this is really high in a good way. Um, my husband's like, it's definitely a girl. You know, we we're having a girl this time. And I always thought we were having a boy because the reason I knew I was pregnant was I dreamt about a little boy and he told me his name. And then I took a pregnancy test and I was pregnant and it was so vividly my son that I was always like, I think I'm having a boy. But then because, you know, all the old wives tales, like the heart rates that are higher thing. And I started getting pimples. Like I really did have pimples last week all over my head. I think they've like sort of gone away now. Um, you know, pimples and feeling more nauseous than my last pregnancy, then I was like, am I actually having a girl? Um, but turns out I found out the gender and um, I was right, I'm having a boy. Um, so I am secretly really excited about that because I always, for whatever reason in my head, have envisioned two little boys next to each other close in age and especially since I had my son I think if I had had a daughter first I would have been like great I've got my girl now I can have as many boys as I want I've always wanted boys I feel like I'm such a boy mom um I would have loved having a girl just for the difference obviously um but I don't really know how much of a difference gender makes I know so many little girls that are just as rambunctious and crazy and want to wrestle with their mamas as boys do. And also my son wears cute little leggings and plays with his dolls. And so it's like the gender thing um, doesn't really bother me. It's just, I guess I've always dreamed of having two little boys next to each other. And I want at least two boys. And we definitely want to have a big family. Um, I want to have five kids. <laughs> I literally want to have that many children. Um, and my husband's down. He's like, whatever you want. So now it's exciting because we have our two little boys and, um, this is my husband's third son. And then it got me thinking, I was like, maybe my husband doesn't make girls. Maybe he is not a girl maker. Um, but that's also okay. Having a, a house full of boys would be really nice too. Like being the only female in a house full of boys. There's something about that which I love as well. Um, 
And who knows, maybe on my fifth kid, I'll end up having a girl. Um, so that was exciting. I think Mark was looking forward to having a little girl this time because he has got two boys. So because I'm, you know, I only have Bodhi and I have Isaac. We have Isaac half of the time and I love him and we love having our little family. Um, but yeah, in my heart, I was like singing for a boy and got my boy and yeah, I'm at some point we'll have a little girl and that'll be wonderful. And if not, I'm also down with that too. Um, Mark's like, well, next time, you know, we can do Shettle's method and there's all these ways to predict a girl, but I just don't, I really do think it's a, just a 50, 50 thing. And by the way, it's up to the universe. Like if I'm going to have a girl, then I'll have a girl. But if I'm supposed to be a mum to a, a whole gaggle of boys, then fantastic. That's going to be how my life looks. Um, this week, I weigh 118 pounds. I've put on a little bit of weight. My belly, I feel, has really popped. Like, I'm really showing now. Um, to the point where, you know, I'm not releasing these videos until June the 1st and by June the 1st I'm going to do my public announcement about the pregnancy and I'll be 13 plus a couple of days weeks um and you know sometimes we get photo uh, photographed uh just by like paparazzi and I was saying to Mark if we get photographed I think we got photographed like a week ago I saw a picture and I was like well, I can see a bump but other people would think oh she's just eating a little much um but if we get photographed from now on, I feel like the secret's going to be out because I'm, I'm really showing. Um, okay, so let me do my belly shot. D guys, I'm wearing my pajamas. Please don't judge me. Da -da -da. Okay. There it is. Can you see? The light's a bit... Oh, it's a little bright. There's that. Um, there's that. I mean, front on, it doesn't really look like much. But yeah, to the side. There we go, it's kind of sucking in a little bit. To the side. And to the other side. You can definitely see that I'm pregnant. Um, it just sticks, like it just sticks out in a pregnant way, not really in a fat way. <laughs> um, so yeah, there we have it. That is my 10 weeks. I'm trying to think of anything else. Yeah, everything else is kind of, I feel like a normal human being. Um, and that happens at the end of nine weeks. So that's great. Like even the out of breath stuff is not really there. Um, but it's exciting because the baby's really moving now. Not that I can feel it, but um, I can see it on the ultrasound. He's kind of jiggling around and do -do -do punching and um, yeah. And I gotta stop like being obsessed with that heart rate monitor. I swear to God, every night I'll be like, I'm just gonna go into this room and like listen to the heartbeat. My husband's like, Can we not? Like, let's let's wait a few days. Um, but yeah, so that's it, guys. Um, I will see you next week at 11 weeks. Okay. Bye.